going to do this thing in this browser over here. So just go to dartpad.dev and there's this browser and it's a Dart language pad where you can practice your Dart. You don't have to install any compiler to work on this. All right, so first over here, we are going to create a class and we're gonna call it test, the class name. And over here, I'll have variables. So here I'll say int x is zero and int y say minus one it doesn't really matter and then here i'll have a constructor and then i'll say this dot x this dot y so which means that well um when we call the constructor this one we have to pass this x and y value even though there's already one but when you create an object of this we have to pass now how, how do you do that so here we'll say test t equal test uh, well 0 and a 10 it doesn't really matter now I want to print the t t dot y value so that's what we want to do and now if you see and come over here hopefully it would work well it looks like it's a bit slow over here so uh, I'm not sure why it is slow though it is supposed to yes it printed the value which is 10 even though the earlier initial value was minus one and then but we were able to change the value okay and after that like for example you could also do like this t 100 okay t dot y so we're we are creating an object first and later on we decided to change the value and uh, actually changing the value takes effect as you can see over here Right, so this is the basic and general way of uh, creating a constructor. First, you create a class and use the constructor to create an object. And if you want to change the value, you could do that. Now, there is another way of uh, doing like this, uh, or working like this. I wouldn't say doing like this. Okay. All right. Okay. So over here, first we had this test. Now I can create a class called result. It doesn't matter, you can call it anything. Now here I would do a little bit different one. So here I will say final x equals zero or just final, final int x, final int y. All right, and then over here I would do result this dot x, this dot y. All right, just like this. Now here you see there is a difference. So over here we are saying we are using this final modifier and of course at the same time we are not assigning any value over here. So all right, so this is what we have over here. Now what's gonna happen is like this. So let's go ahead and create a result R, I'm gonna say, and a result and then pass 0 or like say 10 okay let's do something different 20 like this and then print r dot x doesn't matter okay now let's go ahead and print it well definitely at first we'll see ty 1500 and rx which is this one now what i'm trying to prove over here well you see okay the first thing over here we created an object well at the beginning for test itself with this value right x and y and we, when we created this value actually when we created this object we changed the value well the first one we didn't change but if you want you can second one we changed to 100 and then later on we again changed it right if you want to actually you can also print it here print t.y so with this, we'll first see t equal 1, uh, y, y equal 10, and then over here, we'll see that y equal 100. Because the first time, as we are creating the object, whatever the object we created, and we can print that object field value, which is this one. And later on, we change the value, and then we print it again, and we, this is what we see. This is 100, right? But now let's go ahead and see what happens in terms of this result. Now, so far it looks like everything is same. So over here we created a result instance and we get this x value. What is x value? x value is 15 and that's what we see over here. Now, 
you do see that uh, here if you try to do like this r dot x equal say 300 or any value and you will get a compile time error which means over here we have an error why because this fields uh, you see over here x and y we have assigned them as a final now what does that mean that means that well you can use this value to create an object that's fine but this fields x and y you can only assign once per object so here we created this object called r and as we are creating actually we assign the value and uh, we can print that but once you assign value you reassign value you can't do that so what happens with the final modifier if you have a final this keyword in front of a variable in dart or in many other languages actually it means that you can only have the value once you cannot change it again you can only assign the value whenever you create the object which is very different from this so over here we don't have any final or anything like that and as you see for this reason you can change the value anytime anywhere you want and that's what we have seen we have changed the value over here but this one we can't because we actually have a send value and we say it's final which said which means that we are not going to change the value once we create an object so you cannot do that but of course you could create another new object so here result say rt result now here say 30 3 or 400 doesn't matter of course you can create new object again and print rt dot x so this time we'll see that it's printing 30 so yes because there is this constructor because of this you can always create more objects but as you create you assign the value and after once you assign the value actually you won't be able to change it again so that's what here final means and if you have final fields actually you can also put const in 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 front of this constructor but so which says that actually even if you don't put i think it works the same saying that okay i'll create this object but once i create i won't be able to add it or modify or nobody is allowed to add it or modify so this way creating object is called immutable object so over here whatever we are creating from result it's becoming immutable immutable means not changeable the fancy name the name is very fancy it says immutable but it just means not changeable but this way we create an object this is called mutable which means which is changeable now over here let's see you try to put a const over here and here you will have a problem here it says that can't define a const contractor for a class with non-final fields right because these fields are not final if it's not final that means that they are changeable so if you can change them that means you can't have const here so in dart and flutter if you put a const before a constructor you have to make sure that these fields are all final otherwise it's just not gonna work it, which means that you have to have final keyword in front of them that's what it says that you know in general most of the time this is more welcomed and more convention because this is safe it's really safe because once you create an object you can't change anything or any value that becomes less buggy less error prone which is really good so try to do this whenever possible all right so yeah that's how the immutability final const uh, modifier works in dart all right so since we have this basic understanding how this final const modifier works so we'll go back to our flutter app and we'll see